Alright folks, greetings and peace. Welcome to episode 31 of my gameplay commentary of Final Fantasy 16. Alright, so I think I'm no longer going to to Yep, the wages of war trap. Okay. You know, the ignition has already been leveled up in the first place. Alright, before we go to that, um, you know, quest, and there's this, There's some Be safe. I was really uh, looking for for Titan, but I forgot that. Um, Time to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna open this um it's already opened. What? Oh
Let's go. Faster. Well, because of my eagerness to level up, I forgot to... Well, we don't want to attack those poor chocobos. Even they're wild, they're not doing anything to harm Clive and uh, his uncle. Ah, there she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? All right. What the heck is that? Look at that. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stonehair. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. What is this, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Right, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that then, and ale. Right you are. Hey, girl! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Oh no. Joshua is here? <coughs> Man, you are. It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who could better attend to your ills. No. We must press on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. 
You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Wow. That's like when you were still a boy. It never... It's never healed. Hmm, this will be interesting. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Kupka, then. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Yeah, hey, you troublemaker. Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lad. We've got business in Camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Friend. to lose friend stay back uncle gladly You, you feel that, Joshua?
for trouble. Word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> now, well, this girl knows that that's Clive, the brother of. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. <laughs> Ultima's trying to get out. Medicine. What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go. We didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said of themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on. Alright, it appears that we can't. I can't do it right now. Just trying to do something that can really get the uh, trophy books for Garuda, but uh, the downing in their friends turn up. Needed to a silken softness. Once you go flat, you never go back. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Another fight, is it? Some people can't handle this. Sorry, but the Master's not here at the moment. All orders have to go through him. The finest fabrics, fresh from the capital. Light meat and dark, fresh from the grill. Get it while it's hot. From the stoutest stoneware. Won't ship, won't crack. Your arms are like iron. Are all your muscles so hard? 
Well, I'd be happy to show you. Provided I can afford it. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. It's all the fault of this blasted war. The moment they find out you're from the Empire, they flat out refuse to do business with you. A thousand gil for a measly bunch of gazal greens. And then by This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. And they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. In there, see Goku. Ah, they've closed the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. He can't shake their hands through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Oh, there's... Wow, what? What a river. Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you this. There's one thing that Final Fantasy 15 has oh, an edge. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. The one thing that Final Fantasy 15 has an edge over 16 it does, is that it has fishing. Are you looking for something in particular? Yeah, potions. An excellent choice. Here you are. An excellent choice. trading with you thank you kindly anything else I can take off your hands thank you for your custom no 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 thank you baby
is this an is this a crystal? Uh, this is twin twin sides, and this is the late capital of San Brek, and this is Walud. Looks like we're beginning back to Drake's family. Wait, incense! What wax candle? This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing waters, and all under the watchful eye of Lord Kupka, who stands ready to crush any threat that might face us. Uh, how about a hot bar to soothe the eggs? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Yeah, is only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Hmm. Influence Finally, something comes that... with age and experience. Believe you me. Something collectible. Wrong. Any time they pull their snouts out of Conker's trough is when they want to lord it over us. Why is the tavern shut? Another fight, is it? Some people can't have it. My carpets have brighter places. The juiciest Fresh bread, meat warm from the oven. You have an oven? What the? Oh, all right. Sorry about that, folks. I was about to say, how can they get electricity? But they have the uh, the mother crystals. This town is truly blessed. 
the bustling markets, the healing waters, and all under the watchful eye of Lord Cooker, who stands ready to crush him. Can I help you? Yes, I am looking for a woman by the name of Luzina Dalamin. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Sounds like we have our map. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Wait, incense! What wax candle? Excuse me. Are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. And where the heck is a Bordello? Do you think we can trust him? No. As far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Well, the reason why I just used that because I don't want to use any more potion. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Made from the stoutest stoneware. To a silken softness, it would make a fine gift. Mm. 
Is this the place? Ubo's Forge. The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. Boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? Wait. I thought this game was being I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I do have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. We didn't buy the recent reason. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want, always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What the heck is what in Dalamil? What trouble! If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? 
You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men on the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. of the rock on Lord Cook's private guard. <laughs> he must be a generous man. The amount they spend when they come calling. Alright. I'm back. I just went out for a little uh, comfort room break. Okay, so... You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I'm not a soldier. Ugh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. I don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about before? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. And we paid. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But what? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. This suffice as a deposit. A descent. The 
That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Yeah, you're bribing them. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! <laughs> that preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. I need to drink. Fucking men of the wrong. A thousand gil for a news. Do you think they'll be back soon? Needed to a silken soft face. The finest fabric. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fly Ambrosia. This really looks like, you know, um, the uh, the uh, dead dunes in Final Fantasy Th 13 Lightning Returns. Again, great job by the uh, makers of this game.
Oh, we don't have a way here, huh? Good girl. Run like the wind. So actually, we have to go to the uh, top of Briar's Kiss. Oh no. You deserve a rest. Alright, we're near the end of this um, episode 31, so let's just say that um, Clive and his uncle are stuck. In the sand.
Hey, you're doing a good job, boy. My man. Alright folks, so we are near the end of um wait. Why is Clive like this? Is he has he been always like that? Alright folks, uh, that was completely unnecessary but it was just fun. Alright folks, thank you everyone, God bless you all and stay safe out there folks, we will continue this on episode 32.